All right, so today I'm here with my boys. They are 10 years old and we are going to go through their room and we are going to use my last method to show you how you could declutter your child's room with them. Funny enough, I've never actually really used this method totally in completion with my kids, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Are you guys ready? Maybe. They are so excited about this. Okay, so this is the before of their room. Just kind of doing a... Uh, Get off of there. Once around. This is pretty pretty typical how things look here, so we'll see what the after will be like. Okay, so the first step of the last method is to lay out your vision and purpose. So I actually asked the boys what their vision of their perfect room would look like and the purpose of the room. So they said their vision of the room would be it's all organized, things are in a straight line, everything's put away as opposed to maybe being shoved under the bed. And the purpose of the room is they sleep in here, they play Legos, and it's storage for books, stuffed animals, Lego creations, Nerf guns, and Pokemon cards. Is that about cover it, boys? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So this is the second step. This is the E. It stands for empty. So we've emptied all the shelves. We've emptied everything from under the bed, everything off the dresser, and we have made piles of like with like. So we have stuffed animals, we have Nerf guns, Legos, Pokemon things, books, Lego creations, which are different from Legos, and some memorabilia. So now we're gonna go through and we are going to sort it. Uh, we've sorted it into like with like, we're gonna sort these like with like piles into what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna let go. You guys ready? These are the happiest kids in the world. No, okay, so you're now not they're making decisions on what they're keeping. So all the keepers, for example, of the stuffed animals, the keepers are going back in the stuffed animal bin. And then all of the donations of stuffed animals we put in a bag to take to donation. Okay, so the last step of the last method after you have sorted out what you're going to let go of is systemize. And so what we did was we put everything back in a specific place, we have labels, we decided what's going to be displayed, what's going to be put away, we really cleared off the top of this dresser and decided the dresser is just for banks and wallets. And over here again, you can see with this voice things, we really systemized and put like with like items together so that it is very neat. All right, so we are all done. It took about an hour to do their whole room. And part of that is because, um, that's actually not very long, but that's because their room was generally pretty organized, but there were a lot of things in here that they had outgrown, that they no longer used. So guys, did you feel like you did a good job? Yep. Mm -hmm. were, are you surprised at how your room looks now? Uh -huh. Yes. How do you think it looks now? Good. Looks good? It looks just what that piece of paper says on my door. Just like what the piece of paper says on his door. So that's the vision and purpose statement, by the way, we taped it up. So you guys did a great job, and so I hope that this inspires you to maybe get out there and do some decluttering and cleaning with your own kids.